Welcome to a quick introduction to Multiphysics for IronCAD. In this video, I'll create a simple block and using FEA analysis, determine the deflections and stress due to fixing one end, this end, um, and applying a force or pressure to the other end, this end. Um, it's often a good idea to use a simple model when trying new FEA features. Simple models are quicker to make and change, they're faster to solve, and it's often easier to identify mistakes than in a more complex model. Later, we'll make some changes to this simple model to make it a little more interesting. So to start our analysis, I'll go ahead and close this. Um, start by making a creating a new scene in IronCAD and making my simple block. Drag the block in using the left mouse button, click on the block, right click on one of the handles and select edit size box. This is my favorite IronCAD command. Now I'm going to put the size of my box which is 5 inches by 3 inches by 1 inch, click OK and I've created my block. Um, the units are down here at the bottom in inches, and that's what I'll use throughout the simulation. Um, I'm going to turn off perspective to make it a little more realistic and have parallel lines always parallel, which is useful for simulations. Okay, the first step in doing the simulation is to use the um, FEA add button to add a new simulation. If you don't have these menus visible and if you've installed MultiPhysics for IronCAD, you can right click on a blank space on the screen, select customize toolbars, go to toolbars here, scroll down to the MultiPhysics toolbars and make sure all three MultiPhysics toolbars are checked. Uh, you can then drag the toolbars, they're probably going to appear, close this, they're probably going to appear off the screen, drag them to the left side of the screen. The toolbars are very useful in doing FEA analysis and provide shortcuts for a lot of the commands. So the uh, main toolbar has hide FEA, show FEA. This is used if you want to do more editing and don't want any of the FEA stuff on the screen while you're editing. And add FEA. This is what we want to do now to create a new FEA analysis. I'll click on this. Oh, it warns me that I should save my file before adding an FE analysis. So I'll go ahead and save the file and call it block. Creative name. Okay, so I've saved my file block and I'm ready to do a new FEA analysis. Um, the analysis type menu comes up. We're going to do a steady state analysis. And if you have any questions about the anything on any dialogues, you can always press the F1 key to obtain help. For example, if I press the F1 key now, I get information on the analysis type of dialogue that discusses static, dynamic, modal, and the other options that are available on this dialogue. So F1 is a useful key when doing using any of the FAA analysis options. I'll click OK to select the default. This brings up the multiphysics doc over here on the right. The top part is um, the FEA tree. Um, it includes question marks for items, two question marks for items that haven't been set or haven't been examined yet. Uh, and the bottom part is a dialog corresponding to the current FEA leaf that is highlighted. So I'm on the analysis page and it's set up for stress analysis, which is the type of analysis I want to do. Basically, you just follow these down, um, clicking down, clicking on anything with question marks to make the question marks disappear. So for model, I need to verify that the units are inches and I just want to keep it will default to the same units that your IronCAD model is using. Using those units should be fine. Um, I, we're going to use this in another video to add more materials. This is where you add and remove materials. Now I'll click on the default materials and it will show up as steel and that specific type of steel. There is a file, afematerial.csv, that's a comma separated value file. If you want to add your own materials, um, you're welcome to edit this file and put in the specific materials that you or your company use. The first material in this file is the default material. So if you want a different default than this, you'll just put it first in the file. 
Um, that's fine for a quick and dirty uh, simulation we're going to do. Um, we'll go down to the next question mark, which is, which is constraint. Again, for an FEA model, we basically need to fix one end and put a pressure on the other end. We're going to fix the position by clicking on the fixed position constraint. I'll click on this end and I will click on the accept to accept my constraint. Um, there's little tiny symbols that are too small to see. Let me try to do an enclose. They're still pretty small. For the video and for my own personal preference, I'm going to make them larger. So if I right click on the analysis, which is the generic right click menu for FAA analysis and go and click on model preferences, I have several options. The top option is boundary condition scaling. 100 is the default. If I change that to 250, I'm going to make all of the boundary condition symbols two and a half times larger than normal. And I want to save this as default so that it's going to be that way next time I start a new model and next time I start the program. Um, I'll click OK and you can see the bound conditions are much larger and easier to see. If the boundary conditions get in your way as you zoom into something, they're a fixed size with respect to the model, you can quickly turn them on or turn them off using this button down here. Next, I need to apply a force or pressure um, to the model. So I'm going to pick a force. Normally I would use Control, Alt, and Shift, the standard um, Iron CAD method of selecting the back surface there to select it, but the video capture software I'm using uses those keys. So I'm going to change to the TFR view and just go manually click on it to receive the force. I want the force to point in the other direction, so I'm going to click on the reverse direction thing, and now I have my force. Um, this menu down here, this entity shows which entities are associated with the force. The critical thing is the first letter that shows it's a face. As you work on complicated models, you might have faces and edges selected. Um, knowing which one is face and which one is an edge can help you if you later want to delete it or examine it. Uh, so I'll click on the accept. Okay, I now have my forces and boundary conditions. Um, and actually, for the rest of them, I don't need to do anything. I could just click the auto solve button. It will mesh the model, run the processor, and create my solution. So this is my FEA solution. It shows a maximum displacement of about 5.7 times 10 to the 6 inches in the red area, which is over here. If I'm interested in looking at something other than the displacement of the model, um, I can go ahead and do contour setup, go down here and set pick equivalent stress and click OK. And here we see that there's pretty much a constant stress at about 33 throughout most of the model, 33 PSI. Um, again, the advantage of simple models, this is pretty much what we would expect. We're applying a force of 100 pounds to this surface that's 3 by 1, so that's 3 square inches. So that means about 33 pounds per square inch. And that uh, same stress is exists all throughout this model. So that's the answer we would expect. Um, if we wanted to change it to 200, all we need to do is click back on the force, enter a new value here, 200, click Accept, click Auto Solve, and we have the new one with the force being twice as much, and again the stress turns out to be twice as much. If we want to exaggerate the deflection of the model to see what really is happening, um, it's hard to see that 6 times 10 to the minus 6 inches. We can animate the scale by artificially increasing the scale. Uh, essentially, this increases it 141,000 times um, between 0 and that to show us what's happening. And just as we expect, the uh, model is getting compressed. It's also expanding a little bit as it's getting compressed. And that's our first FEA analysis. It was pretty easy. Um, to review the steps, we used Add FEA to create a new FEA simulation. We went down the tree here. We can pull this down to make it a little bit bigger. We went down the tree, um, made sure the analysis was static, made sure that we had the right units, uh, clicked on the materials to verify them. We added a constraint Let's to this side so that it couldn't move. We added um, a force to the other side 
to push on the block and then we clicked auto solve to solve. We're going to get into some more complicated things in the next video where we're adding a hole and looking at a few more interesting things. Well, good luck and enjoy playing with Multiphysics for IronCAD.